What's up ladies and gents, it's Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. We are talking about File Browser today. This is an iFile competitor. File Browser is a jailbreak app that runs as root that allows you to manage the files on your iPhone. And it's, this includes the native file structure, the default root file structure of iOS. Uh, so you can go all the way to the root and see all the files that you normally would not able not be able to access. And you could do things like copy, cut, paste, uh, you can rename files, you can do all sorts of things like that. The basic stuff, you can compress files even, unzip files if you wanna do that. Uh, but that's about where it ends. Uh, there are some additional features such as uh, FTP file sharing that you see here, a web file, file transfer. Uh, if you want to transfer files from your desktop, to your iOS device, vice versa, you can do that. Um, of course, you can navigate the native file structure, which is nice, uh, but this is not really an iFile competitor for a number of reasons. Number one, there are ads, and there's no way to really pay for this app to get rid of the ads, and sometimes the ads take up the full screen, which is extremely annoying. Uh, so that's my number one pet peeve with uh, File Browser. Number two, it's just not very stable. For instance, if I tap the camera button in the upper left-hand corner, which supposedly allows me to access the camera roll so that I can do things, manipulate files, or you know, image files, and perhaps add them to the native file structure, uh, it just crashes on me. So watch this. You see that? So I just tap that, uh, that camera button and it crashed on me like that. Uh, so again, the stability is a problem. And then... You know, you have the basic functionality, but you can't do more advanced things that you can do with iFile. Uh, let me show you some of the basic functions here. Let's just go into uh, var, and we'll go into mobile, and documents, and let's see what we have in here. See if we have any kind of files we can play with. Um, there's a log file. Okay, so of course you can swipe to delete if you want to do that. Uh, you can tap the edit button in the upper left hand corner and then you can select the file you want to edit and then you see all these functions at the bottom you can delete uh, you can tap the rename button to rename the file um, go to edit again you can cut copy you can compress like this I just compressed it and then if you tap it you can of course extract it if you want to do that I'll just delete that compressed file um, but that's pretty much where it ends I mean of course you have like air print you can email etc uh, but not a lot there. So you have the basics when it comes to file management, stuff that you would, you know, goes without saying would be in a file browser. But some of the advanced techniques like actually viewing the text, uh, you can edit this because it's a log file, but uh, some files you're, you're not able to edit at all, at all because they're not technically text files, quote unquote. This one you can edit like this, as you see there. But when it comes to things like plist files, you can't view them in a plist structure. Um, you can't edit files that aren't the typical log file or text file. Um, so that's something you're going to find is, that is kind of annoying. So here's a plist. I'm going to tap that. Of course, you can just edit it outright, but there's no plist editor to be found within uh, this app like you can with iFile. Uh, so iFile is just more robust. There's more features. It's more mature. This is a good app if you want to just you know, cut or copy or rename a file in the native file structure. But if you're looking for more advanced techniques, then you're going to want to look elsewhere. You're going to want to look towards iFile, which is uh, one of the better file managers out there. It, in my opinion, the best file manager out there uh, for iOS, for jailbroken devices. But if you want to try a file browser, you can head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo. You can download it free of charge. Again, it is supported by advertisements. There's no way to pay for it. Uh, but if you want to try a file browser, go ahead and head over to Cydia's Big Boss Repo. It allows you to do a lot of things like rename, copy, uh, cut, copy, paste, create photos, etc. You're not going to find some of the more advanced features that you find with iFile, but it is a decent alternative if you want something free of charge. So folks, let me know what you guys think about File Browser down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.